Welcome to the GMS MobFlow Grid Approach Tutorial. There's more information in the printed edition not covered in this video. This video is meant to just guide you through the process of the tutorial without going into the details as of why. So to start out, we need to edit the units and make sure the length is in meters and the time is days. Everything else doesn't matter. Then right click in the Project Explorer and select New 3D Grid. And for the X and Y dimensions, change the length value to 22860. Number of cells to 15. Then in the Z dimension, change the number of cells to 3 we will change the length later. Make sure the layer is layer 1 then right click the grid icon in the Project Explorer and select new mob flow. Uh, select the packages button and click the drain well and recharge package. and then change the solver to strongly imp implicit procedure. Then click OK and then click the top elevation button. Click constant to layer. On layer 1 and enter 60. Then click enter. Click OK and go to bottom elevation and go to layer 1, constant to layer, enter negative 45. Then go to layer 2, enter a value of negative 120. And layer 3, negative 215. And exit both of those dialogues. Now let's get a side view. and so we can see this better we're going to increase the Z magnification go to display options on the left we'll change it to 15 now make sure we are in column 1 so you can either go to column 1 or highlight it and enter 1 <coughs> now that we are in column 1 you can also tell by the IJK down here, we're in column 1. Select the top two layers. And right click and select properties. Then in the I bound, select specified head. Click OK. Then return to top view. So to keep going, we need to adjust the layer property flow, com uh, the layer property flow package. Let's so go to mob flow and select LPF, and select hydraulic conductivity. Make sure we're in layer one. Select constant to layer, and enter 15. Now, since we're here, we will also enter in the hydraulic conductivities of layers two and three. So let's go to layer 2, constant to layer, and it's 0 0.9. Then layer 3, constant to layer, and 2. And I go to vertical anisotropy, and for layer 1, it's not constant to layer, and it's 10. For layer 2 and 3, it's 5. And click OK for the LPF package. Uh, we're going to go to the recharge package. So go to MobFlow optional packages. Click recharge. We want leave everything as default, which is the highest active cell, and select constant to array, 
and it's 0 0.0009. That's three zeros and, and a nine. Then click OK and OK to get rid of the recharge package dialog. Now we are going to insert the drains. So we're going to drag a box around a few cells in row 8. So make sure we're in row 8. It's 2 through 10, so about there, and that is 9. So I hit Shift, and we got 10. Now right click, and go to Sources and Sinks, and then go to Drain, and click Add BC. The conductance for all of them is the same, so enter in a value of 7430, hit Enter. The elevations are all different. So just follow me with the elevations. It's 0, 0, 3, 6, 9, 15, 20, 27, and 30. Then click OK and the drains are done. Next we've got the welds set up the wells we're going to use the shift key again so click the cell just before your last drain and that should be 9101 the IJK is 9101 and hold shift and select every other okay right click one of the, one of the selected cells go to sources and sinks and these are wells. So go to the wells tab over here and click Add BC. These all have the same flow, and that is negative 12, 23, 0. And click Enter. And click OK. Now, we have also have different wells in layers 2 and 3. So go up here to the top of GMS and go to layer 2. We've got two cells, row 4, column 6, row 4, column 6, and row 6, column 12. There it is. Hold shift, click, right click, sources and sinks, wells, add BC. Both flows are the same. Negative 12, 23, 0. Select OK. Go to layer 3 and select row 5, column 11. Right click, sources and sinks. And it's got a flow value of negative 0 0.15. It's really small. Now go back to layer 1. So at this point, Sorry, at this point we are done with the mod flow simulation. However, we are going to make sure that everything is in order. So we're going to click mod flow and check simulation. And we're going to click run check. Now there may be some warnings, but we want to make sure we don't have any errors. And I don't. If you have any errors, you can click it and address it and look back at the PDF or this video to be sure you've done everything correctly. So at this point I'm going to save this and run mobflow. So I'm going to click this run mobflow command. I'll click yes to save it. Save it here. Overwrite it. It launches mobflow automatically. Once it's done it'll read very quickly click close and it reads in my head data set from my solution now to change the contours to make this a little more fluid we can go up here to the contour options and instead of block fill we'll do color fill and be sure the legend is on and we'll click OK. That changes it that everything flows very nicely. 
Um, it is also possible up here in the top right corner to have some cells flooded and you'll have you will have a little triangle and that's totally okay. The water table is really high up here and uh, it happens happens sometimes and it, again it's totally high it's at 65 in some places up here um, in fact at the top right cell we can see our value is 62.4 and uh, is actually above the top elevation of 60. Something else we can do is we can utilize the flow budget in mob flow and we do that by using zones and the zone budget command. So by default everything is in zone 1 but we're going to change, go, switch to layer 2 and select everything and change this to zone ID 2. So right click and select properties and then under the bottom at zone budget ID enter 2. Then go to layer 3, select everything properties and enter zone budget ID of 3. Now what this does, if we go to mob flow and click flow budget, it brings up it brings up this, but if we click the zones tab, we can look at the flow budget by zones. And in our case, this is layers. And we can see zone 1 to zone 2, zone 3 to zone 2. We can see the interaction there. You can also select all zones and then they all show up in a scrollable menu.